no probably no more than 600 a month so yes your brother helped you of course you want to take up for him and yes he did beat on me my oldest daughter that's 19 years old but she was six years old at the time can verify that this man pulled a gun out on me when she was six in front of her and told me to shut the f up and quit talking and you i could text my daughter now and she would tell you do you remember that and she would tell you this man whooped me with belts before and when i was pregnant with the sharia this man had threw plates in my face when every time he get angry tell me to shut the f up like always uh, let me see he had drugged me across the floor had made me get carpet burn um let me see sold my car when we was together sold my car for a hundred dollars because his got repoed he needed me then he sold my car for um a hundred dollars um it's 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 so much he 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 like dating younger people younger women so he can get over on them have control over them being a narcissist over them and and stuff like that he know women his age ain't gonna tolerate the bullshit sorry my language the bullshit that comes along with him he 41 years old and he's so stuck in his childhood moment because of mommy's issues that that's something he needs to deal with he he think every woman he meet that they supposed to deal with it i was in the now and go along with him all them uh 10 years the last two years of the 10 years of eight years was horrible like it was awful 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 arguing all the time in front of the kids hitting me in front of the kids just cheating everything so latoya before you come for facts and think you know what you talking about many man aka many man i'm not about to argue with somebody that look like a man what a wig i'm not i'm not about to argue uh you're not even worth my argument as far as you saying that my daughter i paid Brianna for my daughter first of all my daughter let me explain to you you talking about i'm gonna, I'm gonna answer all your questions since you want many man want to get on here and um talk some stuff i didn't send my daughter down there and my daughter was wanting to go down there where her dad at. and the reason being she didn't know who her dad was at the moment and she see who he was see who he is now that's why she don't want to live with him she wants to live with brianna Bri robert beat on my daughter a month ago until this day my daughter still got marks from them bruises that she could physically show you if anybody want to see that he left on her when you discipline uh, any child anybody you don't leave marks on them he gets so angry when robert get angry he 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 don't do it out of love or discipline he do it out of anger of discipline it's two different things two different things but one thing you're not going to do is get on here and lie about me saying that my daughter's down there yeah she living with brianna not robert not her dad because she don't want to live with him who i don't trust him around my daughter because he have anger issues he got psychological issues that he need to deal with on his own he got mommy issues that he need to deal with his own he got childhood trauma that he need to uh, do deal with on his own sorry deal with on his own but manny man you're not going to get on facebook and think you about to run your mouth thinking you know me let me tell you about the baby issue yes i had a child after we broke up i never told him that it was his he wanted my child to be him because when we broke up he told me if you ever have a child by anybody else we done forever i don't want you anyway i don't want you this nigga cried in front of me because i had a child why you do this to me i can't believe you do this that's the first time i ever seen this nigga cry you was her even your even your cousin chris when he was talking to my sister at the time told chris even said that he was hurt by me having a child i never wanted a child by him ever i, I love my daughter now but i never wanted no child by him and he knew that it took me five years into almost six years into the relationship even have a child by him i never wanted a child by him ever so get that straight like because i knew how he was controlling he a cheater he a beater he a abuser 
all that stuff. But one thing you're not going to sit on here and lie about talking about paternity test. He asked for the paternity test. I told him in my living room when I was living over in the apartments that my my child at the time was not his. I told him in front of his face. He Let me try to specify this again. It is okay to reserve your belief. That's just like if you have a loved one that comes to you and says something happened to them. You don't know whether it's factual or not. You're not in that relationship. You're not in that marriage. You're not in that situation. You don't know. But when a person comes and says something, until you have proof that what they're saying is lying, you can still be supportive. For you to say you're going to jump on his side and you don't have all of the facts, you're not being like, let me take a step back. Let me let me pray about it. Let me let me let me watch as well as pray and pray for them both in this time frame. But that's my sister, you know, and she's saying that she was abused. The simple fact that this is say, what she's saying she's going through and what she's saying she's dealing with. I'm going to support her. I'm going to, you know, see how I can be supportive, even if it's just simple prayer and choosing to give her the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> we cannot continue to talk about. We support um, women who suffer from domestic violence and then cherry pick who we choose to believe and who we choose not to believe. The truth always has a way of coming out. It really does. So you don't have to go through a lot of changes to find the truth because when people have an issue with anger, They've done it before and over and over and over again. It's not the first time. It's not the last time. So it's the, the truth always has a way of coming out. On my show, on YouTube, on social media, TV. And make sure you type it all the way in, you guys, and press submit, like press send. First of all, I talk about this. I, there is evidence his baby mom has come out talking about the domestic violence she has ensued from her relationship with Latruth. She also goes on to talk about how her daughter does not want to live with him and is now living with Miss Latruth, which is a red flag because if you are a great father and your reputation allegedly and your reputation is great and you this is an isolated incident. Why is it your daughter does not want to live with you? And she says the daughter was also abused. Physically beat up.